again the tour guide. So I learned he has, I mean, you have an, a lecture on this one, a little bit. So what happened was that there was a tree here, we call it Avzili Africana. It was a host tree. And then this is Strangler Ficus. They normally strangle on the tree, and then eventually they will kill the host tree. Then they will come and take its position. So the same thing happened here. So this one took 30 years. Wow. It started, years. yes, 1906. Yeah. So 1936, which was 30 years later, the Ficus killed the host tree. So now the parts left of the host tree are here. You can see that it's not closing. Mm -hmm. So about two years time, we cannot see this part again. Mm -hmm. And then what you are seeing here is the ficus. So the size of the tree is the hole that has been created here. So it's all up the tree. Yeah. But it still keep on growing. Now the ficus is also taking nutrients from the soil. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the whole tree is not there, but it's taking nutrients from the soil. Mm -hmm. And then these are area plants. We call them bromelia. Yeah. Yes, from the pineapple family. Yeah. Okay. When you go to Argentina, Brazil, yeah. they are there a lot. And then Mexico, they grow by themselves. They need a place to support themselves. They don't take any nutrients from the tree. Mm. They take nutrients from the debris. Mm. So the mosses are also there. These are the moss. These are the lichen. Then we have a friend. We all know a friend. A fern grown on a palm tree, and then uh, the orchid. They are all. This is an orchid. Mm. Have you seen them on the tree? So these are all epiphyte plants. They don't need any uh, nutrients from the tree, but they depend. Yes. Okay. And then they bloom very nice. The nice scented. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Flower. So they are all under the epiphyte family, but the ficus belong to their parasites because they grow and then eventually they kill the tree yeah. then they come and take its position. So this, this is a root? Yes, this is a root. Wow! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's cool. And then we have another big root also here. Yeah. Back here. Yeah. Yeah. See the back of the tree. Yeah. That's the root. Mm -hmm. Ficus are so strong. When you burn it, it will rejuvenate. Mm -hmm. So we just allow them, and then most of the artwork, we use the ficus to do those kind of artwork. Mm. So that's the ficus, so that's the back. You can climb it. So how deep does the other roots go that go on? The root, it can go more than 23 meters. Because wow. it's just go like the coconut deep, tree then? Yes. And then just imagine the top root. Right. It will also go. So that was why they use the royal palms on the roadside. Mm. Have you seen it? So if you want to plant a tree, you have to know their morphology. Oh, yes. of Before, all this exactly. That's a factor. And then the size of the tree. And then you have to know the leaves. It has to be evergreen. Mm -hmm. You understand? But the cedars, they share their leaves. Some of the cedars, they also share. But the evergreens are a little bit perfect. Mm. So that was why they planted this royal palm from Cuba. Mm -hmm. Yes, 1895, they were planted. This one and then the other avenue. The same year they planted the cedar. Did you see the cedar trees just here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those yeah. avenue. Mm -hmm. It was also planted 1895. That's a cedar. Oh. A species of cedar tree from Lebanon. Do you understand? Oh, okay. okay, so from here we are going to the nutmeg section. Nutmeg? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Hello, little Bomani, how are you? You hanging out with Wendy? Hey. You hanging out with Wendy? No. No. <laughs> uh, there are, uh, no, 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 no,